Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to remove any of the logo in the 3D models in Character Creator 3 and iClone 7. You can see some, some of the 3D models like accessories and props, you have some, some of the logo at there. Alright, for example, this is Character Creator 3. You can see now you have a blue helmet here. This, this pack is Playset United Nations Task Force. In this pad, you, you can see sometimes uh, when you want to create our 3D animation, there is none related to United Nations. But these helmets, maybe you want to use it as other army force. You are going to eliminate that in the texture. So what we are going to do is just export the texture. All right. So now you look at your, your texture here. When you double click, you already selected it. It is at here. Okay, this is the texture. So the base color, we are going to export it out. Right click. Sorry, not the right click. But you click here to make sure you selected already. Then, you should be able to see this. You click here. Then here you have a button, Save Texture. Click it. As demo, I will save on my desktop. So I will name this as, okay, what is the, the, the name? This is a forest helmet. For example, this is a PNG file. Save this. Now, you can see actually it is a texture. It is a texture like, like this. So next, you go and download the pin.net. This is a totally free software that you can free to download and install in your computer, what they call pin.net. Download it from this link. Uh, go to the de video description. The video description, I already give you the download link. After that, you install in your computer, you should be able to get the pin.net. Next, in the pin.net, okay, now I close it. Just now I already opened it. You open the pin.net and open this texture. Okay, you click File, Open. This, this, this texture is on my desktop, so I choose from the desktop. Now, once open already, I hold the control and scroll. Then you can see, see it clearer. You can zoom in and zoom out here. So the most important thing here, you are using, you are going to use is the clone stamp. Yeah. Click this. Make sure you click this, and then after that, you change the brush, the brush size to about forty. Enter. Now. So maybe you put thirty-five, the brush, the brush size, and then you hold the control. Sorry, you hold the control, hold the control, and click here, and then you move it down. And actually, now it can replace just by using all of these textures. Actually, you, you can select here eh? again, hold the control, click, and then you can just swap it in that way. By using that way, wait, this part, hold the control here, and you can swap this part. You can change it, change it the way that you want. Okay. Or you can you can put it here as well. You hold the control, click here, and then you can swap it at here. It will totally clone from another side to this side. It is really a convenient way to change the logo and the texture. So now, it looks nice already. Look nice. 
All right, now, another part is here. This part, you also can clone from here. You hold the control and click here. Actually, it's to copy from this part. And then, you start to pin from here. As long as you remove the logo from here, then everything will look nice already. All right, now, once done already, you can just click File, Save, and then click OK. Then you close it. You can see this logo, uh, sorry, this texture already changed. This texture. It is totally renewed already. Now, you can replace it into here. What you need to do is just to drag in, drag into the texture. And now you can see both sides, the logo already disappeared. And now everything clear already. Next. All right. That is how, how are you going to modify it. OK, one more example. Now, I delete this. OK, now, the helmet blue, I also can delete the logo. I just need to click here. Here, save texture. Save on the desktop. This one, blue helmet. OK, one more demo, really fast. Wait for a while, it's safe already. Open the pin.net. Make it as fast as possible. You can do it within a minute, actually. File open. All right, this is on my desktop. OK, now this one is easier. OK, now choose the clone stem tool again. And then the brush width, you put it 30, it's OK. 30 or 40 also is OK. I hold the control, click here, next. I can just pin it at here. Here also, hold the control, click here, and then actually you are cloned from here. Then you can just swap it. It is pretty easy. Next, you save it. Click OK. Now you will successfully save it. And then this is the new texture without the logo. And you can just replace it. Drag and replace. Now you can see the logo already eliminates, but you still can see the reflections. The reflection is just because of the roughness. You can just take it from here, the roughness. The roughness map, you also can export it out. Click here and click here, save texture. The blue helmet roughness. OK, you save it. And do the same way in the pin.net. Use the pin.net to open it. And now we are going to modify the roughness as well. File open. It is on the desktop, the blue helmet roughness PNG. And now this part, we are going to copy from here as well. Choose the clone stamp tool. The brush width, I choose 40. So now I clone from here. Wait. I hold the control to click here first so that you will know that I select from here. Then I can just start to pin on that. Now, it is pretty easy. Now, here, I hold the control. Then I start to clone from here. Now, after finish, done, you click save, you click OK. Close. Now it should be okay already. Now this time, you can see the roughness. It have the reflections. I drag into the roughness, the edited version. I replace it. Now you can have a look. Now you don't have already everything disappear, and that is really awesome, really cool. In order to to eliminate any of the logo from any 3D models in the character creator. Okay, it it even can include some of the cloth. Some of the clothes, for example, the shirts that you want to replace, you want, you want to delete some of the logos, for example, the tank top. It is the same. Let's say if you want to eliminate this, you can do the same way. Okay, we can just try. Okay, this one, you can just save texture. You can do really awesome. This one is tank top. Texture, diffuse. 
Right. I'll try again. File open. It is on my desktop. We can do the same way as here. Just use the clone stem tool. You choose 20, for example, or you can choose 30. All right. The size is too small already. Maybe you can just choose 100. All right now. Hold the control to select here. And then you can start to brush on that. Now, you can eliminate eliminate the logo. Now, finish, you save it. Click OK. Now, actually, you already eliminate the logo. And now, you can replace it. Replace just by, by using the new texture. Now, you can see the logo is totally eliminated and you, you still have a roughness. Okay, this one, you also can just save it, save the texture, save on the desktop. Uh, this is the tank top roughness. The roughness, save. Then repeat again to eliminate that. Click open. Wait. Open. The tank top roughness at here. Choose a clone stem. And I choose 100. Here. I clone from here. And then I, I just need to swap on that to eliminate it. Now it should be okay. Alright, now done. Save. Okay. It is quite straightforward. Just a few seconds, you've done it. And then now, you should be able to replace it with no more the roughness. Okay, replace it by using the new roughness map. Now, it really totally eliminated it already. It's no more logo. All right, that's all for today about how to remove the logo in the texture for any of the 3D models in Character Creator 3 and Icron 7 just by using the Pin.net software. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.